canvas and cutting out the example that I used the bottle. Okay, so roughly speaking, I guess I'm going to use 300 by 300. Okay, so I've got one canvas here. I'm really quite sure I've done. So I open the cup holder. the bottle. So in this case I have a little picture of the bottle on the desktop. I'm just going to go to file open it up. It is on desktop. I know that it's probably it. If I can't remember if that's it, what I'll do is I'll look at this one. Which is a bottle. I'm going to open that. And as you can see, two tabs. One with my infographic, one with my work area. It's going to do Command Zero, so a bit bigger. Now I'm going to use my Magic Wand tool. I'm going to hit the white pixels. And as you can see, this one's a bit mm, not great. So what I would generally do is get rid of that image because it's not good enough for what we want. And I would look for something that's a bit better. Looks uh, pretty good to me. It looks a little bit fuzzy. Uh, I'm fed up with this a bit high res in the search term. Okay, and all of a sudden, we're putting in high res again. For instance, very good quality images, which look a lot better. And what I do is I view image right through. And I get a lovely high resolution image. And this one, I'll just drag it into Photoshop. Hopefully, that should open. Probably not. It is, it's quite big. You see the spinning wheel. Okay, and this rather large bottle here. And I'm just going to do command O to see the size of it. Use the magic wand, click it onto the white. And you see, generally speaking, it's picked up most of the white. This may be not picked up all of the white. Because as you can see, the pixels here and here are very similar. So, what I'm going to do is just pick up one aspect of that. And again, I'm fed up with this as I close it and I go back. See if I can find something slightly more suitable for my purposes or shape. And I'm rather fed up all of the bottles, so I'm going to do something else. If you really want a bottle, i rubber. Is. Oh, perfect. So I'm going to start with rubber ducky. I'm just going to grab that and let's stick it into Photoshop. I've got a little duck here. I'm click the right side of it. That's a nice little shapey bit. Then I usually go to select inverse. This here. And what I can do is copy and paste. You see my background changing here. I've now got a layer with a simple duck on it, or that one. So now I've got a layer with a duck. And what I can do is just pull this little canvas away. Tool, as you see, so I can drag one layer onto this. I've got a little, little rubber duck that I can use. Press return, and that's really helpful. Now we've got a separate layer. I can make 100 little ducks if I wanted to.
So just moving these sort of cursor keys down the bottom of the keyboard. Things a bit quicker. You can see that it's starting to struggle because it's a large file. The other thing that I really wanted to show you is more on this one last week is this one I Selected. I go to select um, inverse. So I've got the path here, the jaggy path all the way around. I'll just go back to that save tool. But I can do something like layer. Um, I can stick a new layer on, for instance. And color, color. Any color is okay, what it is. Okay, and you can see we have two layers on, so we need to put a path on it. And I think we have a nice red duck, so choose a red color here. Yep, then I choose a pale black too, and I'm putting it onto the color layer. Yeah, and you know, pour it onto the path. You see that, that path here, put it straight into the path, or if I wanted, put it um, onto the canvas before I put it in. Now I have two layers. I don't really want the background one anymore because it's a bit annoying, so I'm throwing it in. And you'll see I've still got this jagged line all the way around, it's a bit annoying. So, what I generally do is go back to Magic Wand, put it off. Now, is a rubber ducky, it's the size. I don't like this bit, I can crop it, so I need to image, image crop. And now I've got a graphic that I can again. There's this duplicate, so I need a layer, duplicate layer. Blue duck now. And two ducks. So on the blue layer, I don't like that colour, so I'll stick a blue on it. And use the tail pouring paint and a blue duck. Okay. One blue duck, one red. Okay, thanks very much.